Good morning, my name is Bill Latigo. I'm a senior aftermarket sales manager for L3 Harris Technology. And I'd like to talk to you today about the NGT 9000 multi-traffic system to, to, that takes care of your ADSB requirement. And the beauty of this box is it's a 1090 Mode S extended squitter transponder. It has an ADSB in and out receiver in, built into the box. It also has a WASH GPS for the ADSB position sources, which is a requirement. And it also Wi-Fi to a tablet. So if you're using a, a app like ForeFlight, Wing X Pro, Flight Plan Go, FlyQ, many, all the other ones, um, with the exception of Garmin, it will actually display traffic and weather over onto that their applications. So you can have it in many places in your aircraft. Another thing that this box will do is it will interface the traffic over to like a Garmin GNS 430 or 530. It will also do GNS 650 and 750s as well. We're also partners with Aspen Avionics, so if you have the Evolution Glass or any of their MFDs, you can actually put your traffic and your weather over onto their system as well at no charge to them for an unlock. Also, Avidyne. We're partners with Avidyne. If you have the IFD 440 or 540, you can actually put the Lynx traffic and weather over on that box too as well. So you have, have it in many dis different places, but the beauty of this box is this is the only ADSB solution out there that actually has its own display. You're not required to have one. You can ha put it in many places, but you don't have to have it, have it because it's built, everything's in the box. I call it a one and done because everything is in the box. It's an easy install. And how does this thing work? Because there's no knobs like our traditional transponder. So let's just go through the, the steps right quick like and figure out exactly what it does. So if I want to change the, the squat code, all I do is touch the number. I can put in a squat code and I'm done. You can change the modes by rotating through. And oh, by the way, because of the WASH GPS inside of here, it's smarter than we are. So when you get above 30 knots, it automatically turns it on. And when you land the airplane and slow down below 30 knots, it puts it back in standby for you. But you can also override it if you need to in certain applications. You can squawk VFR and you can ident. So the beauty of this is if I wanted to go back and you, and you accidentally or you squawk VFR and the controllers wanted you to come back, you can actually revert back to whatever squawk you had and instead of having to look down in your, your notes and your, on your knee pad and figure out what was the squawk code when I, they told me to squawk VFR. This is page one of the, the unit. This is page two. So what I'm gonna do is, there's no sense of staring at that 2333 for a two hour fly. Let's get it out of the way. Let's put our traffic over there. So this beautiful traffic display goes out to 40 miles. It comes in to a half a mile. Now, the beauty of, of this is with ADSB systems, and I'll show you some differences here as well. These diamonds, and I'll use the guy over there by the 24 mile ring, and I'll, I'll go out just a little bit more. He's 4,300 feet above me, and he's actually, as we're sitting here in the airplane, because that arrow there is your airplane, he's about at my 11 o'clock, and he's 4,300 feet above me. Now, why is he a diamond? And then we've also got ADSB symbols, because he's, he's not ADSB compliant yet. That is, you're getting that information from the ADSB rebroadcast. So we'll just touch one of these guys, and I can hit the I button, and I can find out exactly who he is. And, and what uh, this is all free from the ADSB ground station, so I know exactly what he is. And I can track him if I'd like to. So that's two, three Alpha Fox. He's going 140 knots. He's climbing. He's 2,400 feet of, above me, and he's going away from me. He's not a threat. So the one thing, you'd never fly the unit like this, but we default page one over here versus page two over here for traffic. So what will happen is whatever I do on this side happens on this side because I don't want this thing to be have a miscompare where you can see an airplane here and not see it on this side. That's not the way you would fly. Our next page here is our optional terrain vision. It's a $795 value. Because of the WASH GPS that's inside of this box, it knows what altitude you're at and it knows your position. So what happens is I use this all the time taken off from airports that I'm unfamiliar with because there's always those 3,500 foot towers out there with guide wires that you, sometimes you can see, sometimes you can't. This box keeps us, keeps us safe, especially on departure, because I can see the red and that's telling me, hey, beware here. Now, that's why it's yellow right now in the demo mode that it's in. So after I get clear all the towers and all the uh, man-made obstacles and uh, mountainous terrain, I turn around and our next page is actually our optional, it's, it's free, but it's optional. If you have a WX500 digital storage scope in your airplane, because we are the manufacturer of that, why not have our own display for that? I would like for you to have ADSB weather and lightning all in one place. Next page is our ADSB or FISB weather. 
this part here is come free. It's a non-subscription base from, from the FAA ground stations. And the beauty of it is, again, we talk about this ADS-B and, and the GPS WASP that's all inside this box. It knows exactly where you're at. So if you've got an airplane that may you may or may not have a a GP, wash GPS or any kind of moving map, it gives you situational awareness because that triangle there, that diamond, or excuse me, triangle is actually the your position of, of your aircraft because the wash GPS knows where it's at. And it gives you a situational awareness for the moving map. Now, some of the great features of the NGT 9000 that nobody else has out there in their own box that you can do do this with is you can touch an airport hit the i button and you get the metars tafs and notams right here on the screen and it's all in plain english there's no deciphering there's there's no code that you have to take care of if i want to change from metar to terminal area forecast i push that button i turn hit the terminal area forecast hit done now for this airport that's reporting it tells you exactly when it is and when it's amended it gives you every bit of the terminal area forecast mm -hmm. And one thing that I like about this is also I can get the NOTAMs for the field. Sometimes runway's closed, sometimes taxiway closes, sometimes there's lights, sometimes you just never know, and they change frequently. So it's current up to date through the ADSB system to get that current information up to your aircraft. So I'll just take this back and go to METARS and I'm gonna say done and get it back out of the way. And I'll get him out a little bit so we can see some traffic. So, when it, so you can go around here, you can touch, your airplane's moving on, obviously, and your, the moving map is going with you, but you can actually go and see where things are if you're on a long trip. So if you take this screen, you push it for three seconds, now I can pan around. So now I can go look and see, maybe I wanna see what the weather is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin today, boom. Okay, there it is. That's actually not today's weather, this is actually a demo loop, but the beauty of it is the same thing, way we just touch those other airports, we can get the METARs, the TAFs, and the NOTAMs the exact same way we just did. When you're done, you hit done. Maybe we want to go to Florida. Maybe let's go down here and I'll tell you what, I'll just go out a little bit, make it easier. Oh, by the way, this goes into 10 miles and goes out to 800 mile, nautical miles for a map. So if I want to go to Florida, I can do the exact same thing by touching airports down here and I can actually see what the METARs, TAFs, and NOTAMs if I'm on a long trip. When I hit the cancel pan, it goes immediately right back to where your position of your aircraft is. There's some other great features of this box with this metal wheel that you can set this thing up and I'm going to turn on the air mitts and the segments and, and the reason why I'm going to do that, and there's also a legend. There's a legend so you can actually look and see exactly everything about this box and, and what, including TFRs, but you can look at all the air mats. You can actually, the one I like a lot is the winds. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But it tells me out there exactly what the barbs mean and what's, what is this really deciphering as far as, am I talking 50 knots? Am I talking 10 knots? What am I talking? So I'm going to say done for that. And I'm going to go back. I turned on the air mats and segments for a reason. And the reason why is because sometimes you get in places where you don't have a lot of internet maybe. And so I can't get on and maybe my cell phone is not working. I, I do fly into some places that happens. So I have to pick up the phone and get a manual briefing. Well, there's a lot of times that the briefer will tell me about this air met or segment or wet, a line of thunderstorms and he starts rattling off like 40 north northwest of GRR to 30 south southwest of DXO to this point to this point and I don't even know if it affects the route of my flight. I don't have to know that no more and I'll tell you why. I'm flying around here, oh, there's a red box there. Well, let me just hit that button, hit the box, hit the I button, and now I just found out over here that it is a convective segment. Because trust me, I don't know 40 north, northeast, the GR, to 50 southwest, the DXO, to 20 west, southwest, the rod, the laws, whatever, and what the line of thunderstorms is doing. So the beauty of it is, is actually I don't have to. It's, it's pictorial right here on the screen. So that's a great map, and it's all free, non-subscription, ADSB. Fizz B weather. So that's page four of, of our NGT 9000. The next page is, is temps and winds aloft. You can select from 3000 to flight level 390 and you can get the winds and temps that are forecasted by the FAA. So what this is another visual thing that we're talking about. If you're flying around in white numbers, white's warm. So what that's depicting is I am seven degrees Celsius above freezing predicted. But here's the beauty of this. If I go over here and look at Minnesota over here and I'm seeing blue, now I'm looking for ice. Same way with the temps. You can rotate over to the temps. Remember that, that index we had over there where in the legend, you can tell exactly how the winds are. You can save a fuel stop with that. 
Last but not least, textual weather. We talked about panning the map, touching airports on the map, where you can actually go in here and, and select an airport. This is how you do it. And then also, well, I'll do that here in a second, but we also say favorite, 20 of our favorites. So what you could do is your home airport and places you fly a lot, you can hit that button, save it. I'll hit done. Here is the METARS, TAFs and NITAMs like we did before for that airport. But also, when you have one button push for weather. You touch the star, oh, there's the favorite. That's your home airport. You hit it, done. Now you have one button push for weather. A lot of bang in the box. The only other thing I invite you to go out to our website, L3 links.com and look at the comparison between the GT the GTX 345 with GPS and the NGT 9000. I have one more thing to say that I'd like to say about ATAS. The differentiator about the NGT 9000 versus anybody else, all the ADS manufacturers above 2,000 feet can actually give you traffic call-outs, no problem. The FAA has certified the links for ATAS, that's, that's ADSB traffic alerting system. So when do you really need that traffic call out? All the rest of them can do it before 2000, above 2,000 feet, but they have to mute their audio because they're not certified for ATAS, so they have to mute their audio below 2,000 feet. Well, when do you really need that traffic call out? It's when you're in the airport environment. There's, and it's smart, it calculates a collision point. So you don't get the nuisance call outs because there's nothing worse than going base to final and then getting traffic, traffic, and then you're, you're looking for the airplane, not the runway. So that's the NGT 9000, it's all in one box. It's a very easy install. Use your existing transponder, your existing mode C re record or encoder, and you put a GPS, uh, WASP GPS antenna on top, or you can actually split it through our certification with another WASP GPS. That's the NGT 9000. So if you're interested in, in learning more about the Lynx NGT 9000, you can go to our website at l-3links.com, or you, and it's being sold through our authorized dealer network. We have over 700 across the world. You can get a quote for them to, to put this box in your airplane. Thank you very much.